Hello, welcome to Today in History. My name is Sotonye Afiasimaba, and as you can see on your screen, in case you didn't know, it's the 6th of August. So, we're going to go back in time to find out exactly what happened on this day several centuries ago. We will start with the year 1637. On this day, England's second most famous poet, Benjamin Johnson, died. He was aged 65. He popularized the comedy of humors and is best known for the satirical plays Every Man in His Humor, which was published in 1598, Volpone, or the fox. Fox is spelled with an E at the end. That was the case in those days. A lot of words um, had E's at the end. So that was published in 1605, so Volpone or the fox. And then uh, The Alchemist was published in 1610, and Bartholomew Fur, a comedy, published in 1614. He was born on the 11th of June, 1572, in London. So that's Ben Johnson, England's second most popular playwright and poet. Let's move on to the year 1661, where in the Netherlands, The Hague specifically, so that's The Hague, or Dan Hag in Dutch. On this day, the Treaty of The Hague is signed, whereby the Dutch Republic sells New Holland, which we know as Brazil today, for 63 tons of gold to Portugal. That's the reason why most Brazilians speak Portuguese today, because Brazil was a former Portuguese colony. Well, initially, originally, it was a Dutch colony. I wonder why it was sold. Anyway, we may never know. Let's move on to the year 1928. Andy Warhol, I did mention him in one of my previous videos. He was born on this day. He's a pop artist from the United States of America, and he's famous for his silver car crash painting. And uh, the painting sold for $105 million. Wow. That is absolutely mind-boggling. Um, he had this first West Coast Gallery exhibition in the Ferris Gallery of Los Angeles on the 9th of July, 1962. Interesting fact about him, an American radical feminist, Valerie Solanas, attempted to assassinate Andy Warhol by shooting him three times. He is later diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia and pleads guilty to reckless assault with intent to harm. She served a three-year sentence. Interesting. Let's move on to the year 1945. The atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima by the US B-29 superfortress, tagged Enola Gay. So, that happened on this day in 1945. So this is a day I remembered in Japan, especially in the city of Hiroshima. This was one of the major bombs. There were two. There was uh, the one that was dropped on Nagasaki and then Hiroshima. Um, so these uh, bombs essentially ended the Second World War. So, we'll move on to 1964. Prometheus, that's the name of a tree, the oldest known tree until 1964. This tree is estimated to be at least 4,862 years old. The tree was cut down by a graduate student on this day, a student of the United States Forest Service personnel for research purposes. Um, he didn't know 
uh, about the history of this tree. You didn't know that this tree was a world, uh, had achieved a world record age. Um, obviously, he found out too late. Um, the tree was located in the Great Basin of um, in Wheeler Park in eastern Nevada, United States. It's a bristle cone pine tree. Okay, let's move on to the year 1991. Fancy a tree living for that long and human beings live for just a fraction of that time. Do you ever wonder why that's the case? Drop me a line in the comment below. And perhaps, uh, yeah, to be an interesting discussion. Our trees can live so long and human beings can't. 1991, Tim Berners-Lee releases files describing his idea for the World Wide Web. So essentially, this is a guy who founded the World Wide Web, Tim Berners-Lee. So the World Wide Web debuts as a publicly available service on the internet on this day in 1991. We move on to the year 2004 and this musician his name is Rick James or should I say popularly known as Rick James his full real name is James Ambrose Johnson Jr. He popularized funk music in the late 70s and early 80s thanks to million selling hits such as You and I which was released in 1978, Give It To Me Baby, released in 1981, and Super Freak, which was released in 1981 as well. Now, the thing about the song Super Freak, there are two versions. The original version, obviously, dun, 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 dun. she's a very freaky girl, something like that. And then MC Hammer, who sampled the bass line, can touch this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can touch this. Mm -hmm. So interesting. Um, yeah. So that's uh, Rick James, who died on this day in 2004. On that note, we and today's today in history. Like share subscribe and i shall see you tomorrow for another edition of today in history my name again is soton ye afiesimama stay safe stay out of trouble and i shall see you tomorrow bye bye